what is up guys welcome back to the channel and today i wanted to bring you guys a different style of video and uh something that is not on the channel that maybe we can add to the channel because it is a power sport um but it isn't a land power sport so let's get this video rolling All right, guys, so it is November 20th in New York, and it is currently, right now, actually, it's 50 degrees, which is rare, but, you know, it's still cold, and we're going to have winter. So why not buy a jet ski? So right here, I picked this up yesterday. This is a 1993 Yamaha Wave Runner 3, so it is the three-seater version. This is the bigger uh, Wave Runner. Um, the normal Wave Runners are tiny, super underpowered, unless it's a VXR. But this right here is a 650 single carb um, jet ski. It, it's uh, it's in pretty decent shape. It's all original. It's got all the original decals, um, which is cool. I didn't want anything that was all chachied up. Um, this thing does have its issues. Um, first starting off in the back, the, sorry if there's a little wind, but um, this jet pump, the, um, this right here, the steering, the linkage broke, which is under the hood, but the linkage broke on that, which is annoying. Um, so that's that problem, but uh, that's an easy fix. That's a new line. The really annoying problem to fix is that one right there. I don't even know how you do that, to be completely honest. I've never, ever had a problem like that before, but um, that's fixable. Any fiberglass is fixable, so that'll get fixed. Um, but the reason I bought this thing, you know, at the time I did, is because I paid 500 bucks for this Wave Runner 3650 and this Mint Yacht Club uh, trailer with, uh, you know, a double trailer, so I can fit two sit-down jet skis, which is the plan. Um, Jonah is actually going to be getting a sit-down jet ski as well. We could put that on here. And then something I haven't shown on the channel, uh, we have we have a bunch of jet skis and stuff like that. We just haven't recorded anything about them, um, mainly because it's water and it's a pain in the ass to record. But we're going to try next year. Um, but up here, this is a pretty big area. Now, I also have a Kawasaki JS550 stand-up that I'm going to make a little spot for it right here and then potentially make another spot for a stand up right here might might put some uh some new metal here and make it a square here instead of this triangle shape so picture you know a square and then you have two stand-up jet skis because jonah also has a uh a kawasaki uh, 650sx stand up so we'll have the two sit downs on this trailer and the uh two stand-ups but I paid only 500 bucks for all this. Um, the trailer didn't have a title, but you can make that work in New York. Um, so that's already registered in our name. Um, the jet ski's got a registration, so that's good. So everything's legal, um, which is really nice. Obviously, you don't want an illegal jet ski or something without a title because they're pretty much worthless because you can't get one. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the current setup here. So we got all this. The motor runs on this. I just don't feel like messing with it. It doesn't have a battery in it. But uh, other than those two issues with this thing, it, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got, you know, I got to clean it out. And I'm going to rub this thing and polish it. So I didn't even look in here yet. It's just like a little, little holder for stuff. I don't know. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's got the battery tray thing. I'll show you guys under the hood. Um, when I got this thing... It was at a warehouse, or an office building actually, Ugh. and um, sitting outside, which was weird, um, but uh, here's under the hood. It's missing a spark plug because I went to go start it, and I'm like, why isn't it firing? Well, it's because it's missing a plug, so I, grabbed, I robbed a plug out of my Kawasaki, threw it in there, and she ran like a champ. You can see there's my broken line. It's kind of hard to see because he, he tried to weld it to fix it, and it didn't work. Um, so I got to put a new cable on that oil caps missing on the oil Which is annoying because there's oil all over the hull the caps down there somewhere. So I got to fish that out Ugh. but For a solid uh, 
solid 500 bucks for this in the trailer how do you go wrong i mean it's it's a jet ski that was basically free because this trailer is worth 500 all day long um especially that it's a yacht club dual um dual jet ski one with paperwork it's always a big thing with trailers here so it was a pretty nice purchase i'm pretty happy with it but uh, if you guys are interested in seeing jet ski content, definitely let us know. Um, we've got this. We've got another one of these. Actually, another 93 Wave Runner 3. Like I said, our stand-ups. We have a Wave Raider 1100. Um, what else? It's a, we have a Polaris 6, uh, SL650 that has a 780 in it. Um, yeah, other than that, we've got we've got just those jet skis for now. Um, and then there's another one going to be coming to the channel soon with uh, Jonah's sit-down that he's looking for you'll find one sometime soon um the the best part about this trailer is now that you can find one without a trailer for pretty cheap but uh we never had a trailer to to use to grab it um we could put it in the back of the truck but that's a pain in the ass so it's pretty cool that we got this now so uh definitely look for jet ski content in the summer next year i hate to you know wait an entire freaking half a year to do it but you know New York blows when there's no leaves on the trees. It is what it is. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let us know what you think about jet ski content in the comments below, and we will see you in the next video.